for the invitation to uh, join this uh, symposium uh, once again. And as a speaker today, uh, I uh, thank you for all the support from um, the College of Institute and University of St. Joseph and now the Taipei Richard Institute as well. And um, today, uh, our presentation, I'm sorry, maybe I have to use a bilingual because my boss is here and I will try to uh, present to all of us. Um, uh, about what we are doing for the last few years in Macau. Uh, we, bring the we bring the Montessori uh, to Macau uh, around a uh, few years ago when there's a kid that is three years old. Um, we, we haven't seen any kids that have the more energy as the guys. <coughs> so uh, with the referral of the school, uh, we uh, service their family because uh, so we will work with the school together with the family. Uh, this is the main uh, idea of uh, what we are trying to build in the bridge uh, between the, within the family, the school, and uh, some other uh, necessary education that uh, the family needs. Okay, so. Um, we have uh, come up with an uh, effective and uh, efficient uh, booklet about how to implement this uh, the awakening of um, contemplation and concentration in early childhood. Thank you. So we have it uh, both in English and Chinese in order to uh, have uh, good resources for our teachers, uh, professor to. Uh, do it, uh, increment it in the Macau family. So, uh, actually, this is uh, just a small step. Uh, we are trying to explore more. And um, if you have any good idea, uh, please let us know. Uh, we are trying to gather all the available resources in order to help the future leaders, the guys. So, in this, we try to practice. Uh, contemplation, as uh, Mark already mentioned, uh, happiness and contemplation. And um, um, uh, Chang Yi, my new friend, he, 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 his idea is to have an atmosphere, the environment, which we are also the specialist uh, to set up the environment, the learning environment set up. So we do it for the school, nursery, kindergarten in Macau as well. Uh, and also now we bring it into our families when they have all the available resources, uh, their kids uh, need help, uh, the parents need training, so we, we will take that uh, job and uh, bring the best to the family. Uh, but <laughs> I'm sorry, but I have to report to my boss. Uh, it's been uh, two and a half years since I come here. Actually, uh, I spent more than uh, I uh, got from the clients. But thank you for your support. Uh, we have intensive uh, summer camp uh, training for our uh, trainer and us as well. Because as a school leader, you need to, uh, to know at least how, how it works, and uh, I'm uh, uh, besides uh, besides uh, having the teacher coming in to teach the student, I'm the guide as an assistant in the classroom. So that's one finding I have uh, is it is very important for the children to have conversion. So that's why we try to have a spiritual preparation for all our teachers, especially uh, us. Because when we enter the classroom, actually we will have a, a certain thing happen. For example, the stage of disorder, when they try to get to uh, you know, something new coming in, and they have to, or even the parents coming in, they will have a stage of disorder. 
and then we will have the teacher and the guide help them to uh, reach the uh, stage of contemplation and then lead to the concentration and then they will reach the phenomenon of obedience that's what the parents and the schools are asking for you have to listen to the order and do the right things so um, as we are from Hawaii so we are trying to do this in a very special way uh, we have tea party uh, we have the uh, snack party every day in a class in order to uh, give them a taste of the hospita Hawaiian hospitality so how to serve with more wholehearted no, be happy, we are not looking from the, you know, you should, the, uh, a Hawaiian shirt, you can go anywhere to attend the most important function. Yeah. So we look at the <coughs> children's spiritual condition. As you can see, we, uh, we, are, we are a finance and accounting background, so <laughs> also from the Peace uh, University. So we try to come up with the value of the soul, of the child. If this is two pennies, the value, right now, when he is still uh, you know, one year old, not moving, and still contemplating, but after one thousand years, it doesn't increase much. But if it's a 2,000 year, including the karma, it's, it's come up to the 48,000 billion trillion. That means it's 48 plus 25 plus 0 at the end. So this is what we are trying to dive into this business. To have this, uh, to see that the values, the uh, nutrition and management and sustainable growth to the eternity. This number means infinity, well, according to my student. So, uh, as we can see, the spiritual condition in Macau is uh, a certain unrighteous uh, spiritual body. They are hanged for love. So, uh, we are trying to target the 0 to 3, and 3, 3 to 6. Because uh, in Chinese, we call it uh, and in our studies, uh, we believe if he got a taste of the uh, good news before the age of eight, uh, it's most likely eventually he will become a Christian Catholic. So, uh, may I share with you some of the important words that I am using uh, uh, to converge uh, uh, to be a self-awakened child. And this is what our lessons are going to be a form father. For example, we will tell them a dance and create. So when you teach uh you want to defend, they have been to lay the this is and uh, Jesus loves you. Sometimes all day. There's a heaven. And then we ask him to give us some feedback about what is really, really going on. Can it? But there's one thing that keep you away from apart from God that is sin. So we have to see if the true the children uh, know about what's doing right or wrong. Then we can start uh, helping them instead of it. So we will have the definition of sin. We will tell them what to do, what you are thinking, what you are doing, stay. And then we are born in the same, and we start, that's why we separate from the God. So, and, but there is a wonderful plan for you uh, to avoid, uh, to be punished for our sin. So we will have a perfect son from, uh, of God to come to the world and then we and now because of what the Lord Jesus tell you and what he do for us uh, your sin is not forgiven wow and then once we reach this uh, part of the 
plus plus and the, the discharge, and we can see the children. You know, we 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 can feel it with my uh, soul and body, and communicate well with him. And then we send an invitation, an interest, a very brief invitation, twenty seconds, and then we ask for the assurance of the salvation. Uh, of course, we confess the sin once again, and then when you become God's child, you will get to know Him better. So uh, this is all. After the self awake process, we will give them the uh, uh, the purpose uh, work to do every day, and help them to have uh, uh, both the spiritual growth and the uh, knowledge growth, uh, full development. So we were asked them to go to uh, uh, one of us is to go to the school's church or they read the Bible and then obey God's word. Then, then what what how do we implement the contemplation in between? That's how we find out is we need the parents or the caregiver to come down to to have an inner silence in order to take care of their kids because once we are we, we left, you know, we will have, have the parents and the nannies having their kids. So we will give them the, some uh, exercise, a book lab, games for them to do at home to prolong this uh, 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 short term memory. And then now they are clean, so they are uh, write, writing a letter every day. You know, that has an aroma, it's a self-awake. So we can see actually from the outside that there's something inside the little guy that he, he we can learn from. So that's why we are having uh, the leader uh, doing contemplation while observing during the class. So they are, they are, they are taking this contemplation into the action of the practicing of the observation. So in the practicing of observation, first uh, in our theory is to connect, just like that we are now connected, and obtain data from all of us. So when you speak, I'm uh, trying to you know, uh, get the spirit. And then we reflect, uh, maybe after class, and then and engage with the uh, the class, mm -hmm. I mean the, the teacher, the environment, and also the students. So through this observation, uh, we see that uh, most of the students could reach the stage of contemplation and later lead to the phenomenon of obedience. So uh, this is the most important part. I, I need to get a, a green light and approval to going on uh, this business. So uh, we are trying to you know bring the monastery in Macau to make a profit. But uh, since uh, our project going on and we have more experience. Uh, now we obtain the technical skills uh, from Montessori, uh, the leadership training, and also the financial uh, capability, which is uh, uh, really know the parents are willing to pay, and the company support us uh, to carry out this uh, uh, free education. I hope. Uh, is it okay? <laughs> we will give free education in Macau. Yes. And uh, at the end, we will strengthen that uh, most of our family, in order to maintain the happiness, besides doing the contemplation, and we will spend on wellness. Uh, we will spend on education. And these two areas will lead to happy leaders according to various studies. 
and of course, um, you know, we prepare the environment. Uh, we, I'm sorry, may I give you the conclusion? research in the next hundred years is, uh, you know, we will have to get us very back to the uh, foundation of our pedagogy approach, which is to learn how to appreciate and gather in all those tiny and dedicated manifestations of the opening life in the child's soul. And in our next hundred years, we observe children to learn about them from them. As we will discover new secrets, the children will tell us what they need to become self-reliant and who they are meant to be in the world. Now characterized by change. The children will tell us how to better prepare environment and develop new learning materials as we practice personal renewal, uh, prayer, contemplation, and we learn more. And as we evolve an observation literacy, we learn more about ourselves and better fulfill parents' intent to us to serve children as scientific, spiritual guides. When we share our observation and discoveries, we will renew and build upon our early childhood legacy.